the glums, a typical hugs for square holes. As usual, Pa Glum is morosely boozing at the bar and is reminded that Friday night is bath night. Gentlemen, please, now come along all your glasses, please, gents. Now, come on, Mr. Glum. Let me get finished up early. Well, uh, tonight's me bath night, Mr. Glum. Yeah, you know I love a good old soak. Yes, I've met her, yeah. <laughs> Ted, Ted, Ted. Yeah, Ted. Yeah. Don't talk to me about bath nights, oh dear. No. Not after what happened last Friday. No. I shall remember it till the day I die, if I'm spared that long. <laughs> Look, Ted, you yeah. know my boy Ron, Ted. Yeah. Oh, last oh, Friday, I got up to have a bath, yeah. leaving him and his fiancée F in the front room together. Well, about three hours later. Oh, Ron! Your father started having his bath at seven. It's now gone ten, and he's still in there. Yes, eh? <laughs> Worried. Remember, Ron, he is an old man. Why should he take three hours over his bath? Perhaps he's a dirty old man. <laughs> oh, well, yes. Well, even so, Ron. I mean, no one could be all those hours just washing. I mean, I like my bath, but even allowing for a good old wallow, I'm in and out in 20 minutes. Wouldn't you like to just pop your head round the bathroom door? Oh, yes, eh? <laughs> yes. Your father's door, Ron. Oh. Oh, please. You're just making a mountain out of a mole hole. <laughs> Dad's all right. If anything had happened to him, we'd have heard. Well, I... <laughs> Ron, isn't that his voice? Listen. <laughs> There, Aunt C. He's singing. <laughs> that was no song, Ron. He's in difficulties. Yes. Mr. Glam! Are you feeling all right? All right, no, I'm not all right. I told you it was about me, Draper. <laughs> I knew it, Ron. I had a presentiment. How ill are you, Mr. Glam? Who's talking about being ill? Big toe stuck in the plug hole. <laughs> Your big toe just jamming in the plug hole, oh uh, dear, oh dear. Must have been a bit unpleasant, I should think. Oh no, no, yeah. oh no, it was delightful. You was very lucky that Ron and F was on hand to help. Yeah. Though come to think of it, F, she wouldn't be able to help, really. Not in a certain stance. Well, I know what you're talking about, but actually we got round that particular difficulty. I got Ron to empty half a dozen packets of gravy browning into the bathroom. <laughs> Can I come in yet, Mr. Glum? Just having one more stir, Eth. Pour the rest of that packet in, Ron, and, and give the bath one last swish round. Ah, then. How's that now, Ron? Just a minute, Dad. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to taste it. It's dark enough now, all right. Right now, with. I'm decent. Hello, Mr. Glum. Hello, my dear. You'll pardon me not getting up. <laughs> well, it's the first time you've been in my bathroom, isn't it, sir? Fine predicament for a man to find himself in, isn't it? Sitting here looking like the brown inversion. <laughs> it's awful, Mr. Glum. But what did you want to put your big toe in the plug hole for in the first place? Well, I didn't want to put it in. I, I had to put it in. I want no plug. Oh, no plug? Well, you see, it's my darling baby boy here. He went round the house this afternoon and he, he collected the plug from the bath, he collected the plug from the basin, the plug from the kitchen sink, then he took both knobs off the telly and the check line about the scullery. Oh, Ron, whatever for? I'm teaching myself drafts. 
That's fine, isn't it? That's marvellous, isn't it? That's fine. That so in. when your poor old father goes to have a bath, he turns on the taps and what happens? The water goes straight out. Yes, it would, wouldn't it? Well, never mind it would, wouldn't it? It did, didn't it? <laughs> yes, Dad. Very helpful remark, that one and all. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, the only thing I could do was get me clothes off. Undress, you see. I sit down in the empty bath. And, and prior to turning the taps on, I stuff me big yes. toe in the plug yes. <laughs> Well, I'm very confused here. Yes, Dad. Well, I can tell you that that experience, that part of the experience alone gave me a very severe emotional shock. Emotional shock? Yes. Oh. You try sitting down naked on cold porcelain. <laughs> I'd have been more active, I'd have reached the ceiling. Do you know, anyway, <laughs> the bath did eventually fill up and I did manage to pass a lightly soaked flannel over my salient features. And when I'm nice and clean, when I go to get out, what do I find? My big toe wedged like a bung in a beer bar. I've been tugging and hauling and pulling at it for three hours. Oh, now, now, don't panic, oh, Mr. Not Glum. Panicking. Yes, you are. I'm just now, stuck here. Now, listen. Suppose we try and lever your toe out. Aye. Suppose we put a broomstick under your knee, rest it against the edge of the bath, and then Ron and I throw all our weight on the other end. What would happen? You'd break my ruddy leg. That's what would happen. <laughs> Terrible. It's, it's, I mean, it's like fate itself perspiring against me, isn't it? It's all so inexplicable. It's, if the perishing toe went in, why won't it come out? Oh, that's quite easily explainable, Mr Glum. It was the heat of the hot water. Hey. Well, it made your big toe swell. You see, heat always makes things get bigger. She's quite right there. That's why days are longer in the summer than they are in the winter. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So your suggestion is that I just sit here till the winter, then? Oh, I didn't say. Oh, no, Mr Glum, but we're on the right track. Well, how do you mean? Ron, can you think of some way for your father to cool his big toe? Yes, eh? Oh. You can, Ron? It seems obvious to me, Dad. Well, don't keep it a secret. How can I cool that toe? Take it out and blow on it. <laughs> Take it out and blow. Take it out. He's me only boy. <laughs> Ron. Yes, Dad? Once and for all, admit something to me. I just want the satisfaction of hearing you admit something. What, Dad? Sometimes you're as dim as the Black Wall Tunnel, aren't you? Yes, Dad. No, no, not just yes, Dad. Admit it. Sometimes I'm as dim as the Black Wall Tunnel. Just plain honest to goodness gormless. Just plain honest to goodness gormless. And stupid with it. And stupid with it. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. That has made me feel a little better. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing about me, though, Dad. What's that? I've never got me big toe stuck in the black <laughs> arm. <laughs> oh, give me that... Oh, no, Mr. Glum, oh. no, not with a jar of fast oh. salts. I'll either take him away or think of something to do quick. Look at me flesh, it's all going all crinkly. What with that in the gravy, I look like the edge of a steak and kidney pie. <laughs> hey, think of something, think. We are thinking, Mr. Glum. I can't hear you. You mustn't be so impatient. Impatient? Impatient, for heaven's sake. I'm not asking much. Surely you two can get one old man's toe out of the waste pipe. <laughs> Only me. Oh, the waste pipe. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, of course. Yes, of course. Look, Ron. Yes. Mr. Glum has got his toe shoved into the top of that waste pipe, hasn't he? Yes, eh? Well, suppose we tackle the problem from the other end. You mean shove his head in? <laughs> no, Ron. Get at the toe from the other end of the waste pipe. Ah, oh, now, that's the first sensible suggestion we've had yet. Yes, instead of pulling at the toe, get in a position where you can push at it from beneath. Yes. yes. Ron. Yes, Dad? Bend down and have a look at the bottom of the bar. Right, Dad. Look at him. Look at him. Mr Glum, pull his head out. He'll drown. <laughs> Ron, Ron, come up. I, I look, Dad, I couldn't see anything. There was a toe in the way. Oh. 
As soon as I get the use of that toe back, I know precisely where I'm gonna plant it. <laughs> now look underneath the bath. Up that tap end, you'll see a lead waste pipe coming down and forming a U. A U. A U. At the base of that U is a nut. A nut. A nut. Or you again, if you like. <laughs> now, if you undo that nut, you'll see a hole, which if you shove something up it, you can easily reach my poor ill-fated toe. Do you understand, Ron? No, no Dad. <laughs> I'm ready. Push away, lad. A good hard push, son. Right, Dad. Oh. Ah! Stop it, stop it. Ron, what are you using? Only the scissors. Oh. <laughs> Only the scissors. I'm cut to ribbons. I'm lacerated. Oh, I should get tomain poison in that. <laughs> Lummy. Oh, dear. Lummy, if me toe's only a couple of inches, push me toe out with your finger. My finger? Oh, yes. Let's see now. This one? Oh. No, there's a taller one there somewhere. <laughs> ah, this is it. Stand by, Dad. Oh. Can you feel me toe? Yes, I'm touching it now. Well, then push hard, lad. Push it, higher. Uh, All your weight behind it. It's moving. It's moving. Uh, one more. Uh, get... ah! It's out. Oh, it's out. Look it. There's me poor old toe, you see, just surfacing under the cold tap. Oh, oh, the poor thing. Nasty red ring round oh, it. Oh, dear. I'm free. I'm free. Free. Oh, the relief. Oh, if I, I can't thank you enough there for, for, well, helping me out. Oh, that's all right. And Ron, them remarks I made about you being dim and gormless and stupid, I, I apologise. I do most profoundly. Will you, will you shake hands and... Say you forgive your nasty, bad-tempered old daddy. No, Dad. No? You won't shake hands with your dad, son? I'm sorry, Dad. I just can't. You can't? Why not? My finger's stuck in this house. Oh, you did! 